Hello and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode, I will explain you how you can create custom list templates for Microsoft Lists. With Microsoft Lists, you will get access to predefined templates that can be used whenever you start creating a new list from scratch. To complement the out-of-the-box templates, Microsoft recently added the possibility for you as an administrator to create and distribute your own templates. This way, your users can start a new list from something meaningful that is tailored to your business needs instead of starting with a blank list. Despite being already available, there is no graphical user interface for you to create and manage your organization template, so you will have to use PowerShell to do it. PowerShell shouldn't prevent you from creating a new template. To simplify the process, I've built a custom script that will help you to create your first template in just a few minutes. You can find the PowerShell script in my blog, Hands on Lists, and the link to get it is available in the description down below. To execute the script, you must be a SharePoint administrator and you should have the PowerShell Online Management Shell installed in your machine. The execution of the script is pretty simple. All you have to do is provide the URL for the list that you want to save as a template, type a title in the description for the new template so your users can easily identify what is the purpose of the new list, Select one of the 12 predefined Microsoft list icons and one of the 12 predefined Microsoft list colors. Finally, provide the URL to the image that will be used in the organization template gallery and you must host the image before executing the script. This is important, otherwise your users will not see the thumbnail for the template. To make sure all users have access to the image, I recommend you to store it in the global SharePoint app catalog in the site assets library. Now that you know what is needed to create your list template using PowerShell, let's see it in action. The list that I want to transform as a template is this expanse tracker. It has a few columns and some of them include column formatting like this receipt scan. If your list like this one already has data, you don't have to worry about it. Your new list template will just keep the column definition, the views and the formatting you may have added to the list. In order to get the process started, and since I'm using the PWA Microsoft Lists application, I will need to click in the opening SharePoint so I copy the list URL. I've already downloaded the script and have it available in my desktop, so from the Windows terminal all I have to do now is start the execution. The first step is provide the URL that is already in the clipboard. Next, I will have to provide a title for the template. I want it to be explicit, so this one will be named Expense Tracker. To add a bit more context in the description, I will instruct the users to use this template for every new project they create. I will select Savings as a default icon and Red as a default color for every new list created using this template. Like we did with the URL, we will also need to get the URL for the image that will be used in the template gallery. To do that, I will open the site assets library in the SharePoint app catalog, where I've created a folder named list templates. To get the URL for the image, I will have to open it and then click in the view original option so I get the direct URL to the image. The last thing for me to do is authenticate using my credentials and wait for the execution to be completed. The process takes only a few seconds and once completed shows all the details related to the template. Now that you have your list template created, all you have to do to start using it is open the Microsoft Lists application. With the Microsoft Lists open in the browser or using the PWA app, click in the New List button. In the template section, select the tab from your organization and you will see your new template. To create a list based on it, click in the template and from the pop-up, click in the Use Template button. This will open the new list pop-up with the predefined options you've introduced during the script execution. Adjust it to your needs, select the site where the new list should be created and click in the Create button. As you can see, in just a few minutes you will be able to create list templates for your entire organization based on lists you already have in your system. 
If you are looking forward to understand in detail how Microsoft Lists work, I recommend you to read my book Hands on Microsoft Lists, where you will find detailed explanations from the most basic concepts all the way up to the most advanced customizations. Don't forget to like, share and follow. See you next time. Bye-bye.